Okay then, so we are subscribed now to the Pulse Store right here and we're cycling through that data inside the Pulse Store right here and outputting those inside the Pulse Details component. So we can see that Pulse right here and everything's working. We're hooked up with this store, but at the minute, if we try to vote, then nothing works and in fact we get an error. And also if we try to add a new poll, nothing works and we get an error. And that's because currently when we try to do either one of those, we are emitting custom events and we're trying to send those back up to app.svelte where we handle those and add them to data in app.svelte. Now we don't want to do that anymore. We don't want to send data back up. We just want to communicate directly with the new store that we've created. So we can either add a new poll to the store via the form, or we can update the votes when we click on one of those options in the polls. So we're gonna look at how we can update the store data in this video, and we're gonna delete all the old unnecessary code that we had when we send those events and data up to app.svelte. So let me start with the add poll or create poll form right here. So at the minute, this is where we're dispatching the event and we're sending that poll up. Now, I still want to dispatch the add event right here. And there is a reason for that, which I'll tell you in a minute, but we no longer need to send the poll up as data because we're not gonna add data to app.svelte anymore. We're gonna do that directly to the store. So what I'm gonna do is now import the store instead at the top. So I'm gonna say import and it's poll store and it's from, and I need to come out of the current directory, then forward slash stores and it's poll store.js. Okay, so we've imported that. Now we need to update the data in that store and we need to do it around about here, right? So let me do that by first of all, creating a comment to say what we're gonna do, save poll to store. And then underneath it's as simple as getting the store, which we import, so poll store dot, and we use a method called update. And this fires a callback function where we take the current data from the poll store that's there before we add something. So current polls, we'll call that, but you can call it what you want and we take that into a callback function. And then all we do is we return a value and the value that we return is gonna be what this is updated with. So if we return one, then the whole value of poll store right here becomes one, okay? Now that makes no sense. Instead, we want to return a new array with all of the polls, including the new poll that we create inside that array. So we'll pass poll into it and also spread out the current polls as well. So everything that's already in that store plus the new one as well, we return that value and whatever value we return, that is the thing that now is contained within the store, okay? So that should work. And I said, I'm also still dispatching this add event, which goes up to the app component right here. And the reason I'm doing this and we're still handling that add event right here is because if we take a look at handle add, not only do we add the new poll to the polls, but we also change the active item to current polls so that when we add a new poll over here and we click add poll, it goes back to this component view instead. So let's delete the stuff we don't need where we add new data and instead just update active item. That's all we need to do here. So that's done. So we can save that. And now let's try this out. So let's go and add a new poll, blah, 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 and add it. And now we can see this works. So the polls are now being added to the store. So these things still don't work. We still get an error when we try to vote. So now let's address that issue. So to do that, we need to go to the poll details. So let's open poll details. And right here, where we say handle vote, this is where we're dispatching the custom vote event that's being forwarded inside poll list, right here, up to the app component. And we can see right here on vote, and it's being handled right here in handle vote. So instead, most of this stuff right here can now be taken out of here. So I'm gonna cut that and I'm gonna to go to poll details, and instead of dispatching an event right here, we don't need that anymore, and in fact, I'll delete 
create event dispatcher we don't need that and the dispatch function right there we don't need that and in fact while we're at that i'm going to do that from the create poll form as well we don't need the create event dispatcher oh no we do sorry my mistake because we're still dispatching an event sorry my mistake anyway we've deleted it from the poll details and that's fine and now i'm going to paste all of this inside here so first of all we don't need this line right here because we already have the option and id so let's get rid of that remember the option and id came from down here where we pass them into the handle vote function so it's going to either be a for option or b for option and then the id is passed in for that poll as well so we still want to create a copy of the polls we do want to do that but before we do all this we need to actually create the update function on the store so let's import the store first of all so import and it's going to be poll store from and it's dot dot forward slash come out of the folder into stores then we want the poll store.js okay so we have that and we saw how to update the store we need to say poll store dot update this fires a callback function where we take the current polls and inside this callback function we return a new value so all of this stuff right here now i'm going to cut and i'm going to paste it inside this callback function right here okay so now what we're doing first of all is we're saying let copied polls equal to a new array where we're outputting the current polls now this needs to change from polls to current polls so that's the current data we get from the store so we create a copy of that array and then we find the upvoted polls this is exactly the same and then down here let me scoot this in we're still doing a check to see whether the option passed in was a or b to decide which votes to up the vote for and then finally instead of this we need to return a new value and the value we want to return is the copied polls right so now because that value is returned and the copied polls now contains the updated poll with the votes updated we're returning that value now the entire store has that returned array with the updated data so i think that is just about it let me delete that spare line and the spare line down here save this and save this in fact we no longer need this handle vote function right here and we no longer need this listener right here and in fact we no longer need to forward the event from poll list so we can get rid of that as well let me save that and let's check this out in a browser so now if i try to vote now it all works and if i add a new poll and try to up those votes everything is working sweet so now we've done that and we've hooked everything up with the store in the next video what i'd like to do is show you how to delete these polls by clicking on a delete button